we have an exclusive interview with Gina Rodriguez, you know, who actually transformed herself into a very, very different role. I sat with her and Ismael Cruz Cordova, stars of the upcoming Miss Bala. And let me just say, these Latinx stars have, uh, you know, range in these guys. If these guys can tackle anything from Sesame Street to Jane the Virgin, they can tackle any drug cartel. Take a look. Yes. I absolutely love the fact that, you know, the names are so Latinx. Yeah. Proudly so. Well, I mean, his is pretty sexy, the He's, three namer. I mean, it's actually a four namer. The you got are, four names? Four <laughs> you better not start dropping more name names. My name is Ismael Enrique Cruz Cordova. Yeah. I heard that there's a 95% cast and crew that's Latinx. Is that correct? I, I knew about the original film, Ms. Bala, and I knew that they were reimagining it, they were taking it out of the context, putting it to now, and that a big studio wanted to make it. And I was like, where and with who? <laughs> and it was like, in Mexico with an all Latino crew. And I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah I, want, I, want, I want to do that too, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys explain what the movie is about. I saw it last night and, and it was oh, definitely a thriller, it was a adventure, yes, for sure, oh, awesome. for sure. Well, Ms. Bala is uh, about uh, this woman, uh, Gloria Fuentes, who is a makeup artist in the United States with a lot of hopes and dreams, and she grew up at both sides of the border. It's an action movie that was reimagined uh, for us, by us, and it's one of ours, and it feels really great to be a part of that. Another thing that I saw in the film that I absolutely loved is the use of Spanish. Puerto Riqueño hablando con un acento mexicano. O sea, ¿qué tan difícil fue eso? Uh, en realidad es, estaba un poco nervioso, pero a la misma vez me pareció una oportunidad muy bonita que uh, nosotros latinos no explotamos mucho. Yo veo, en, en, por ejemplo, en la comunidad de Estados Unidos y los británicos hacen mucho crossover, ¿sabes? Ellos un uh, americano hace de británico, un británico hace de americano y ahí dicen nada. Ah. También era muy importante para mí el, el, el aspecto también de ser un afro latino, que muchas veces no tenemos representación dentro de lo que somos como latinos, hay baja representación del afro latino. Bravo, me encantó eso, me encantó. Pero Gina también con el español. En la película. Mis padres son de Puerto Rico y yo nací en Chicago, pero mi papá también es afro latino y tenía una, um, he had a really hard time, um, actually he looks just like Ismael, my father, um, uh, but he had a really hard time growing up and he was discriminated a, a lot and um, my parents chose to raise us without Spanish so that we didn't have as hard a time as they do. Y ahora es mi responsabilidad mm -hmm. a practicar español. Muy bien, me encanta yeah. eso. And it is totally my responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Um, por eso necesita practicar, Jane right? the Virgin, right? So we have, uh, you know, this is the, the fifth and, and final. It's nice to close a chapter that you feel that you really, you really didn't take for granted. So I don't have any regrets. I don't have any, oh, why didn't I spend more time? Or I should have done this. And no, I, every moment I spend on set, I'm like, thank you, God, for putting me here. Are you getting teary eyed? A little bit, a you little are. bit. Well, it excites me. It excites me. And it's like, um, I think that we're living in a really great time right now where Latinos, la, Latinas, Latinx can come together and really show our beautiful, positive power. Yeah. I heard that you were on Sesame Street. Sí, yes. Yes. Sí, sí. So, you didn't what? know that? You I did not know, know that. Oh. What? <laughs> you didn't know this? I was on Sesame yes. Street. I mean, from, from Sesame Street to being the leader of the, of the underground, yeah. you know, have, dark I, world. I'm like starstruck. I have a range. <laughs> yes. You did not know this. I am this. starstruck right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you got to tell us about the Sesame yeah, Days. Yeah, I was at Sesame Street, uh, I mean, a few years ago, and I, I used to play this character called Mando. All right, question for these Latina leads. Yeah. What is your favorite Spanish word? I know mine. Yeah, mine is not like for the air. Yeah, mine is not for the air either. Uh, no? <laughs> I would say huepa then. We mine say, has to be I, I, I mean, ah. Did we I just get the G-rated version of this? <laughs> What's yours, Gina? The bad one. <laughs> <laughs> she actually felt good saying that. You yeah. can see it in her it's face. It's always just like, ah, <laughs> stop. <laughs> okay. I seriously had such a good time with you guys. And again, thank you. And thank you for representing us so well, the Latinx community. And that Wepa! interview. <laughs> yes. That interview was actually done here on the set. It looked good, right? I you love know. her. Fun fact. Yes. You did Virgin Eyes with Jane the Virgin, oh, our set. She's an, I'm the one with the bad jokes. God. Please. <laughs> Guys, Miss Bala is in theaters <laughs> this week. So go God. check it out for sure. And I love what Ismael said about the Afro-Latino explosion. Yeah, yeah I love it because he, what Ismael said that we have more Afro-Latino representation is really true, so we need more of those, that representation. Yes. But we have people like you and Ismael that are supporting the cause of saying, hey, Afro-Latinos need to be more on screen and Latinx in general. Making so. it happen, yeah. for sure, we all love that. This is Latinx now. And if you liked what you saw, hey, subscribe. You know the button, so where? click yeah, it. the one where? right here. It's right where? here, it's right here. Or maybe. Or maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs>